Majestic Sound. Hey, 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 what up, what up? I'm back. Yes, it's me, your boy Toby D. Faith football fans. I tried to go on a long break with the Falcons, of course. I'm a Falcons fan. I can't do that. It's hard for me to stay away without talking about the Falcons. And I just want to thank everyone, first of all, that has subscribed. Please continue to do so. Uh, yes, I'm a fan just like you, but I love to talk about the team as well as you do. I don't know everything, not a beat writer, just a fan that loves the game of Falcons football. Now, what I wanted to talk about is, for anyone who knows Pat Curran, I'm sure many of you have heard of Pat Curran over the years watching football. Uh, the guy has a lot of knowledge. He's been around the game for a long, long time. And he had a book out called uh, Take Your Eye Off the Ball um, 1.0. And he wrote a updated version, which I have both of those versions. I suggest you get it. You want to learn about football and learn a little bit more about the intricacies of the game. He can definitely help you with that. And he just started a site last year uh, called RealFootballNetwork.com. So check that out. Uh, he gives a lot of valuable information. And one of the pieces of valuable information that I want to talk about is he had this segment on uh, his site called To Blitz or Not To Blitz. And here he was just breaking down what does it take to be a successful blitz team, how you're able to recognize one, and how you're able to recognize a bad blitzing team. Well, it just so happens as he broke down some of the best blitzing teams from last season in 2015, unfortunately, we were on the worst side of the stick. And he talked about basically uh, to be a good blitzing team, you have to be able to out of every nine blitz calls, get one sack out of those nine blitz calls. And unfortunately for the Falcons, we were number one for the worst. Of course, many of us already know we only had 19 sacks. But what was unfortunate was he actually said that the Falcons only amassed three sacks out of 126 blitz calls. Now, fans... Many of you know that's sending five and six players to the quarterback to get pressure and take the quarterback down. We already know the pass rush was bad, but dang, man, the blitz was horrible. That cannot happen. And that is the reason why I believe that the Falcons hit rock bottom in 2015 in the pass rush. The only way to go now is up for the Falcons, and that's why I have to believe that they're going to get better. I mean, basically, one sack out of every 42 blitz calls, man, that is just mind-blowing to me. And a lot of people that I've talked about with that, when I brought that stat up about the blitz, their mouths was open just as well as mine was. I mean, you realize the pass rush was bad, but dang, I mean, that is seriously bad. We know that the Falcons have to do better in the middle. Now, you got Derrick Shelby that the Falcons are moving to defensive tackle. You know about Jonathan Babino. We need Grady Jarrett to be the guy that we're hoping he can be as a fifth round pick that looks like a first round pick for the Falcons. And we need to see what Tyson Jackson can bring to the table up the middle as well. We need that middle pressure to do well because it's going to help us with getting the four man um, up front pressure and making the blitz work better for us as Falcons. Now, I thought I would share that with you guys about the blitzing and how unfortunate it was for us to be on the other side of that. And what was another noteworthy thing was that the Buffalo Bills was also noted as one of the worst teams. And we know Rex Ryan, he lives in the blitz. But that is all for me. I would like to hear your take on it. Uh, again, my name is Toby D, Faith Football Fans. Peace. I'm out.